Right, so it's uh, two all, Stoke, Bournemouth, with Tom, Tom thoughts on the game. I get the impression this is going to be that optimistic from you, but here we go. Oh, yeah, just yeah, yeah. shit, just genuinely. I know expletive, but this, seriously huge, just fuck off. I mean, bringing on, bringing on Walters when Jude was probably having game of the season, best game he's had. And then... 85 minutes, two all against Bournemouth, no offence to Bournemouth, but they're the kind of team we should be effing beating, and you're playing a centre-back on the wing, you're moving a centre-back to the wing, just what, what is that about? Huge out. I won't lie, the, the, Munier, uh, the, the Peter Sun confused me a little bit, I mean, Sorry. if you had to speak one player was decent today, it would have been. <laughs> Um, Juf, I thought Juf really did a good job of stretching their defence, actually, because it's been so long since we've looked like we were scaring an opposition's team, but Juf actually did it today. They actually got him behind, stretched their centre-halves. Yeah, it was just pretty shit. I get the impression you're a little bit despondent today. I'm going to compound it a bit more. Who was the, the weak link, say, the worst player? I, probably Mooney, but not as in he's a bad player. He's just not a left back. Both of their goals have come down that right flank, and he's just—it's just he can't. He, he gets caught too high up the pitch, and that's it. Go on, Tally! Go on, Tally! Wilson. Okay, well, I think we'll do well to find a more depressing interview. I reckon after that. Uh, Tom's not happy. I thought he's all right myself, but nonetheless, it's two all. I do think we should have won, but there we go.